I love today's practice. It's a very traditional flow and it's all designed for youthfulness, both within our body and our spirit, as well as beauty, right? Because from a healthy body, our skin glows, our energy shines. And so I really, you know, the research is pretty remarkable on the eight pieces of silk brocade and how they allow this youthful movement. If you think about when we think of someone old, everything compresses in and down and it's hard to walk and move the joints. And when we have supple joints and supple spine, all of this movement helps us feel and look youthful. And then we also have the beauty that comes from that, that healthy movement. Let's begin. Feel the feet grounded into the earth, drawing energy from at least six feet down up through the soles of your feet. The knees gently bend. The pelvis tucks forward as you imagine you have a heavy tail drawing the tailbone down. Heavy on the earth below and behind you. The spine lengthens up as gravity pulls the shoulders and arms down. The head feels like a balloon, helium lifting the head up. And from the downward movement of the shoulders and the upward movement of the head, with the chin slightly tucked, the neck feels long. The gaze is soft in the distance. As you say the letter N, and wherever the tongue lands on the palate of your mouth, N, keep that there for the remainder of the practice. It completes an internal circuit of energy within your body. Inhale, lift the palms out and up as the arms come to shoulder height. The hands float over and exhale, turning the palms down, floating down through center. One more time, inhale, float the arms up to the shoulders, bring the hands over, palms touch this time. Float them down to your heart center and gaze at your fingertips. Release the hands, one hand stays open, the other in a loose fist of greeting. And set the intention today to really feel that youthful movement as if you were a child. Just that supple little bounciness within your energy. We'll begin by gathering chi from the six directions. Float the arms up to shoulder height. Inhale, bend the elbows, soften the wrists, let the hands float in. And then exhale, flex the hands up, press the arms forward. Inhale, drawing in. Exhale. With each inhale of breath, you can picture tendrils of chi drawing into your body. And as you exhale, you can picture this chi moving throughout your body. Last one here, inhale. Exhale, we're opening channels of energy in the arms as we draw in chi. Flatten the hands, inhale. Exhale, move the arms out to shoulder height at the side. Inhale, drawing in. Again, we're drawing from the six directions, so we're continuing to draw in all around us, keeping the shoulders relaxed down. Flatten the hands, inhale, draw in. Exhale, press out, really flex your fingertips up. We lose a lot of youthful movement in our wrists from the stagnant types of repetitive movements we do as adults. So this is really powerful to open up the movement within the wrists. Great for carpal tunnel as well. Exhale, press. And as you flatten the hands, inhale, let them float down by your sides, but leave room for the chi to circulate. Exhale, press the hands back, lift the heels touch the fingertips to the thumb 
and drop down on this inhale. Exhale, lift the hands up overhead, interlace your fingers. Inhale, drawing in from above. Exhale, and begin to roll your shoulders as you breathe gently. One more. Really inhale, drawing in through your palms. And exhale, press up, and then hinge forward on the exhale as you continue, hanging heavy. Breathe gently. Cross one hand under the other, making a ball with your palms facing each other as you roll back up. Put your weight in the same side as the hand that's on top, so shift your weight. And then with the other foot in hand, step out to the side, a little bit kind of in front of you and to the side, gazing into the outstretched palm. The other palm is now by your hip facing down. Breathing gently. Shift the weight back, bring the feet back to hip width apart. The hand that was outstretched is now on top. Shift your weight into that side. As you step out with the other foot in hand, the elbow is bent, gazing into the palm. Palm is face down by your hip. Breathe gently. Where the eyes go, the mind follows, and the chi follows the mind. Shift your weight back and bring both palms out in front of you, right in front of this lower Dantian. Inhale, lift the hands up and in by your lower ribs. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. Exhale, press down. One natural respiration breath, inhale, float the hands up. Exhale, bring them over, palms moving down. <clears throat> Recheck your Wuji position, your strong standing position as we begin our eight pieces of brocade. Inhale, the palms float up to the heart. And then we rotate the palms up and gaze up, holding up the heavens like a pillar. Lower the chin, exhale, float the arms down as your gaze is soft in the distance. Inhale, the hands float up through center again. Really lift the rib cage up off the organs the lower organs. Part of youthfulness and beauty come from strong digestion. And we'll do several postures that create space for all of our organs, which helps digestion. So really powerful. Keep the shoulders relaxed down. Don't let them creep up into your ears. One more time, inhale, lifting up, rotating the hands forward and up, gaze up. Chin lifts gently. Exhale, gaze is soft as the chin returns to dent center and the arms float down. Drawing the bow. Shift your weight into one leg and step out one and a half to two times shoulder width. If you don't have a lot of strength or you're feeling fatigued today, you can come in more. Just whenever you bend the leg, make sure the knee doesn't go over the toes so you won't have such a big bend. Your hands are in loose fist in front of you. Inhale them up to shoulder height where you open the hand that's outstretched so the index finger and thumb are spread wide. 
the other hand is a loose fist as you exhale and bend drawing the back hand across your chest open the hands flatten them as you inhale to center and across as you lift make loose fists again exhale bend the legs drawing back gazes out over the front hand inhale up hands are flat to the center continuing the inhale make your hands into fists as they come up to the other side exhale draw back feel the opening on the chest the compression of the shoulder blade in the back the energy in the outstretched hand coming back up inhale lower the hands open then make them into fist as you come to the other side exhale bend really squeeze the shoulder blades behind you coming back as you inhale to center shift the weight bring the feet back hip width apart penetrating heaven and earth or also known as one armed pillar inhale the hands palm up to heart height as you exhale press one hand down the other palm reaches up gaze up to that palm keep the pelvis tucked inhale the palms both float back to the heart the opposite hand turns to the heavens as you gaze up keep the shoulder blades down relaxed imagine drawing in heavenly and earthly chi into your organs into your heart center and as you exhale release stagnant chi let it flow through the soles of your feet and out into the earth the great recycler of energy inhale draw in exhale press and gaze feel the expansion inhale both palms both hands to the heart exhale float them down This pose is either wise owl looking backward, you'll see sometimes, or the dragon. It's a simple standing twist that really emphasizes the suppleness of the spine, the neck, opening and keeping that vibrant energy. Inhale, exhale, turn at the waist, the shoulders and the neck, the chin, gazing far behind you inhale return to center exhale turn and gaze as you twist the opposite way initiate the movement with the waist then the shoulders the head and the neck both as we go into and out of the twist inhaling as you come to center exhale twist inhale return exhale feel the opening all along the front and back the sides of the spine the neck as you inhale return to center We'll do one natural respiration breath before we move into the second four of the eight brocades, inhaling the arms up. Exhale, float them down. We will, we will be stepping out wide into horse riding stance again. Um, you may take a more narrow stance and you can also do this in your chair. Shift your weight into one leg as you step out wide to one side. You can turn the toes out, bringing your hands just above your knees, wagging the tail. As you inhale, bring your hips to one side and lift the chest up to the other. 
exhale, bring the chest down, center the hips. And then inhale, lift up, shifting your weight, wagging your tail to the other side. Exhale down, notice this wonderful movement of the hips, strengthening of the legs, the quads and hamstrings, the elegant movement of the ankles and feet as we exhale down and inhale lift. Strength, flexibility, gentle, supple movements that keep you vibrant, energized. On this exhale, come to center, realigning your hips and torso. Tuck your tailbone and gently come up. Shift your weight back. And reaching back and folding forward. Bring your hands to your hips and inhale, lift up, gaze back. Exhale, hinge at the hips, come forward and hang heavy, holding opposite elbows. Breathe gently. Really let the body let go. Bring your hands back to your hips and come up. One more time, inhale, lift up and back, lift the chin. As you come up, exhale, hinge forward, folding forward, grabbing the opposite elbow. Shifting, it should feel a little uncomfortable. You'll know you probably have the opposite side. Breathe gently as you hang heavy. Let the top of the head move towards the earth. Bring your hands to your hips and come up. Good. Shift your weight into the opposite leg from when you did wagging the tail and step out wide to the other side. Again, modify as needed. And we're going to go ahead and do um, thrusting fists with angry eyes. The angry eyes are wide open eyes as we do our exhale, releasing liver chi as we open them wide and letting nice, calm, fresh chi flow into the liver. The liver is the master of cleansing and storing blood as we sleep, moving, really allowing the blood to be pure as it moves from the heart through the body. So we want to release liver chi stagnation. Both hands and fists by your side. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees. Thrust the fists forward. Eyes open super wide. And then inhale. Draw in. Come up slightly. Squeeze the shoulder blade behind you. Exhale. Open the eyes wide. The, thrist, the th fist thrusts forward. Try saying that five times fast. Relax the eyes. Inhale, draw in. Exhale. Turning the thumb down at the end of the thrust, really tight fist as you release the stagnant chi. Inhale, open. Exhale, move the shoulder blade forward so good for channels of energy along the back as well. Open the eyes wide. Relax the eyes, drawing in. We'll do one more time each side. You're doing great. Exhale, release. Inhale, soften the eyes, draw back in. Last one. Moving in gentle, fluid movement. These fists that you make are so good to prevent or treat arthritis. So everything has a benefit. Good. Our final 
eight pieces of brocade pose is vibrating the heels. Cross your hands at the wrist, fingers together, thumbs spread wide. Inhale, lift the arms overhead, gaze up. Exhale, gaze at one hand as it floats down, the fingertips come to your back. Inhale, lift your heels and exhale, drop down. There are two ways that you do this. You can have a vigorous drop or just a gentle lowering. Choose which one, which one is right for you today. So inhale, lift, exhale, drop. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and drop. Inhale, the arms float out to the shoulders, the hands come over, exhale, float the chi down, and we'll go within a moment before we do our next few postures that really open a sense of youthful love. Scan your body from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. down your neck and shoulders to your fingertips. Notice your mood, your energy, and any sensations that may come up. Flutter your eyes open. One of the ways that we can keep ourselves youthful is by having a sense of hope. And hope, one of the most powerful tools for hope is gratitude. When we notice good things, when we are thankful, whether it's good actions from a person, the sunlight, the flower, whatever it may be, we create this youthful awe that lets us look at the world fresh and anew. We remove and reduce our cynicism, our bitterness, and those are all traits of aging. We don't often see those traits in children, and that's what we want to embody when we give gratitude. Shift your weight into one foot and step out at an angle with the other. Again, you can adjust the width of your stance. Inhale and exhale, Bring your, bend your knee as you bring your palms up and forward in front of you. Inhale, bring the palms back as you're drawing the energy in, shift the weight back, expand the chest up, opening the heart. And exhale, come forward again, giving of gratitude for everyone and everything around you. Inhale, drawing in the love and gratitude from others. The shifting reminds us to shift our perspective when we feel stuck and can't find things for which we are thankful. They're always there. It's just hard to see sometimes. That's normal. We all get stuck. But Qigong helps us remember how to continue moving again. As we move our body, we move our mind and emotions. We'll do this last one on this side. Shift your weight back and then over to the leg that was in front. We'll step the other foot forward, feel the balance. Inhale, exhale and give. Inhale, draw back and receive. Exhale, feel the openness in the back. And as you come back, feel the openness in the heart and the chest. Exhale. What do you have to be thankful for today, right now? I'm thankful for you. Hopefully you're thankful for each other. That's one thing.
We'll do one more here. And shift your weight back. Feet come hip width apart. Natural respiration. Inhale, the arms float up and over. Exhaling down. We'll do that one more time before we go into bamboo swing to close. Inhale. Exhale. Bringing all your chi to your lower dantian, this energy center behind and below your navel. Place one hand on the, hand on the lower abdomen, the other on the back of that hand. Feet touch side by side. And close your eyes and go within. Rock and sway, letting the chi move wherever it needs to go. Rock and sway, letting go. Release your hands, open your eyes. Thank you for joining me for this practice. Thank you, right? Gratitude. I'm so honored and filled with joy at being able to work with you. I look forward to seeing you in the next class.